Oh, hey there, everybody. <laughs> Let's go ahead and make this quick, because I have other things to do tonight. Let's hope I'll make it too quick, because I do want to give you a proper review. But this is a beard and a beer. This is number nine, number ten. Damn, I, lost, I fucking lost count. But uh, back in the kitchen again, I just don't feel like doing it in the other room. It's, it's, I really don't feel like it. I feel more cooped up over there. But uh, today... I've, I don't know. I just got it because of how it looks. I've never had this, obviously, because I'm doing a review one. I, I tried to review ones that I haven't already had. Hinterland, 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 uh, the Luna Coffee Stout. Malt beverage with coffee added. Let's uh, try this out. It says no other information other than, oh, Green Bay, Wisconsin. Bottled and brewed by Green Bay Brewing Company. Interesting. Hmm. Let's find out. Nice little uh, H there. For homo, no. <laughs> I'm not prejudiced in any way, so shut up. It was just a stupid joke. Oh, yeah, that's coffee, all right. That's coffee, all right. Mm, that smells really good, though. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting alcohol. I'm getting, uh, it doesn't say the percentage on this at all. I haven't done any research on it. Maybe I can check afterwards and find out exactly... Because it has no other information on the bottle. It's just the name, you know, uh, what the blend it is, basically, where it's brewed, and that's it. You know, Surgeon General's warning, that's it. Go ahead, Surgeon. Yes. Anyway, time for the pour. Oh, I'm still watering here. Get out of there. Here we go. So we can get a, get, a, uh, get a decent head on the pint this time. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Oh, too much foam? Yeah, that's good. I'm okay with that. The head is very mocha, just like uh, the last two beers I reviewed. But I mean, it's a, first off, this is a stout. Secondly, it has coffee in it. It better have a mocha head. If this head was white, I'd be like, okay, something was wrong here. Let's get the smell. Practically the same thing I already smelled. The... Uh, Certainly smell the malt there. The coffee is very, it's, it's right there. It's up front. It's not very strong though, the aroma, but you can definitely tell it's there. It's very, very obvious. Guys, it makes me think of walking into a coffee shop, but to get drunk. <laughs> I actually like the smell. That's really good. I wonder how it's going to make me feel. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to get a caffeine buzz on top of an alcohol buzz. I'm going to sign. I don't think I've had many coffee brews before, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Let's let the head come down a little bit more, but that's fine. Very dark. Can't even see through the glass. Just uh, uh, the pour didn't look. It didn't look like a really thick brew, but I guess we're gonna find out now. With the, you know, it feels in the mouth and the viscosity. Let's go ahead and check. Ooh. I'm not sure of the alcohol content. Um, I think it's maybe, I want to say this is probably less than seven. Definitely more than five. It's like, it's like 5%. That's just a waste of my time. But this is going to be around 6.5, maybe even 7.2. I don't know why I added a decimal to that, to that as if I can really read or process how much alcohol by volume is in this. But I'm just saying, I think it's, Probably, if it's over 7, it's not going to be 7.5. I can just tell. But uh, I'll find out at the end of this, and I'll tell you guys. But uh, that is tasty. Uh, a lot more bitterness, though, in this one. Probably because of the coffee as well. Because remember, the actual the um, the coffee beans themselves roasted me. Just I'm assuming that's what they throw in this, you know, a little bit of coffee grounds at the end. You know, like the, maybe the same way that they dry hop certain beers. Maybe they just added coffee right at the end. I don't think they let it f ferment with coffee. Maybe the coffee, like I said, comes at the end, sits there for a little bit, and then that's it. Uh, just to ferment with the coffee, I, I just I don't think that'll work out. So I'm assuming it's put at the end. But yeah, you definitely get the coffee notes. The uh, dark roasted malt, definitely. Obviously, if you look at the color of it, that's not just from the coffee added. Um, it's good though. The bitterness is a little more than uh, what was it I had yesterday. 
Vampire Slayer. Uh, but let me try again because all I'm getting is coffee. I want to see if I get something else. It's good, man. Hmm. I think that's really all I'm getting so far. There is a little sweetness. I like it. Uh, I don't want to say it's like a mocha, you know, cocoa, chocolate kind of hint of sweetness that I'm getting. It's probably just, you know, I'm getting confused with the coffee a little bit, I'm trying to read my palate as best as I can. But, no, this is very well. I like it. It's good. Again, if, I, if I'm going to start rating things, I'll give this like an 8. I think you use a little more alcohol. Maybe uh, be a little thicker in the viscosity, I suppose. But it's not. It's certainly not under par. No, hell no. This is actually very nice. You know, I'm actually going to load it up right now, and I'll just edit this out. But let's go find out how much alcohol is in this son of a bitch. Wow, really? Well, I'm at uh, Beer Advocate right now. Let me um, let me see if we have their own site. I would assume. Here we go. Let's see. If make sure that it says the exact same thing there. Ah, okay. Beer Advocate said 5.6. I was like, really? I mean, it's not that far off, I guess. Let me double check. Yeah, it says 5.6 uh, alcohol by volume, but then uh, the Hinterland, Hinterland uh, actual page, hinterlandbeer.com forward slash lunastout.html. Uh, it's a year-round beer, it says. The uh, style stout, obviously. Availability is year-round, and the ABV is 5.8. So I was close. I said like 6. Uh, but I didn't really think it was going to be higher than seven. But yeah, it's not bad. It goes down nice, goes down smooth. I love, I actually like and love the coffee. I really do. It makes me think that I'm walking into a... There was this coffee place in Alabama, Mobile, Alabama. I hope it's still there. I would love to just go by and just have a cup just for the, the atmosphere and the the quality of the coffee, but uh, the place is called Carpe Diem, which in Latin is for seize the day, and it's just a coffee shop in Mobile, Alabama. It's right, yeah, it's, I think it's right beside Spring Hill College, which is a, boy, it's, yeah, it's on a hill. <laughs> it's right beside a golf course on a big hill, tiny college, very beautiful landscape. The college, the architecture is beautiful. I believe the place is about 150 years old. I don't know. Well, more now. Just a little bit more now, but a rough guess. I haven't been there in a long time, but it's right beside the college. Right on, I don't want to say Dolphin Street. Maybe it's on Spring Hill College Street. I don't know. Like This makes me think of just walking in there and smelling that coffee in the air as you walk in and just ordering a cafe au lait. Or, you know, I don't go crazy. I don't get like a frappuccino or macchiato. Blah, 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 blah. blah. You know, I don't get that fancy crap because I just want coffee. I don't need caramel and whipped cream on my coffee. I mean, if I want a dessert, maybe. But come on, guys, keep it simple. Coffee's coffee. And this is good. Oh, Jesus. I hear Nickelback in the background. Hopefully I don't get a copyright strike. I wasn't intending to have that play. It's on the TV. Google. Appeal to your viewers and your users. Not to record industries. We'll love you more. You know what? On the second thought, this doesn't need any more alcohol. No, this is good. No. If this had any more alcohol, it would not be what it is. Obviously. <laughs> but what I mean is, uh, it doesn't need to be stronger. This is fine. This is fine. It wouldn't go down probably smooth if it had more alcohol. But this is good. And it, it might even, you know, uh, accentu not accentuate, but rather increase the bitterness. What, what is it? I IBUs, right? International bitter units? I forget, I, I forgot what it's called. I forget my beer terminology, excuse me. But, uh, yeah, this is nice. I like it. I've, I've had pretty pretty good luck with all the beers that I've had lately. Oh, and last night, I owe you guys something. I mean, it's not like I have many viewers. Anyway, you all should watch me. <laughs> oh, God, no one cares. But you all should watch and learn. 
But I owe you guys something else. For those that do watch, I'll, I, I owe you anyway. I'll be nice. But last night, I had some guests over, and I was getting drunk. And I had already bought this one and another one. It was Rogue Dead Guy Ale. Very good. But since I was drunk and I had guests, I didn't want to run to the store and buy more. So I just... <clears throat> Lovely. So I just ran to the store, I, or rather, I had already bought this one, and I had already bought the Rogue Dead Guy Ale, so I just grabbed the Dead Guy Ale, and I tried that and drank, oh God, Skype, lovely. And I had already tried that because I didn't want to run to the store and buy more booze. And there's my cat. Do you realize what you're butting in on? Can you believe this? Can you believe this? Tonight's special guest, my black... I almost said it. Sorry. Hey, if you haven't realized by now that my videos are a little adult. Where? Where? I'm interrupting you while you eat because you're a bitch and you interrupted my video, so fuck you. Yeah. You want to say hi? Hey. Come here, say hi. No, I'm gonna interrupt you. Come here. Come here. Don't get hair in my beard. No, 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 no. Don't get hair in my beard. Psst. What's up? Meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. So pretty. Yes, you are. Meow. Meow, meow. Well, everyone, I guess this is where I end my video. This is my cat. And she pretty. She's a princess. But she's also a Bitch. That's right. You only like attention in small doses and you never let me touch you. For some reason, though, you're being nice now and letting me touch you. I better not spoil it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>